Bailey starts. Oh, All right. Like that? So yesterday we started 4.5. We will review it a little bit first, though. If you have your notes from yesterday, take those out. If you have your notes from yesterday, take those out. If you do not, we start with this title. Ivan? I guess that's Jojo Hall's point. What? I guess that's. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Miss Tops gave that to me. Perfect. Okay, 4.5, title, factory, and expression. Everybody have their notes or new labeled notes? Yes. How many questions? Okay, so let's start. Plus, and how do I write 
20 as 5 times something? 4 times 5. I'm going to put the 5 first. And then I'll pull that up so you guys can see it better. So that's the 5x plus, and that's the 20. Now, each of them you can clearly see has a 5 in it. So I'm going to take that 5 and pull it out of each of them. So I'm going to put a 5. And then in the parentheses is what remains after I take out the 5. So in this term right here, what would be left after I took the 5 out? Mateo? Uh, you would put x plus 5 times 4. x plus, but on this one, I'm going to take the 5 out of this one too. 4. Just 4 then. That's the factored expression. So where did you get the 4 from? So this 5 times 4 here was 20. If I took that 5 out, the only thing left is a 4. So I'm taking those 5 kind of out of each of them. So x plus 4 is what will be left. Ivan? What chapter is this one? So I can 5. Read it when I get home. 5. So I'll get this. Oh, this is 5 dash 4. Okay. This is the part we were doing yesterday. 4 dash 5. Oh, sorry. 4 dash 5? Sorry, 4 dash 5. Don't you have it at the top of your notes? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's look at one more of those. I'll use green this time. Number two, let's do, huh? let's do um, eight X plus 12. This time I'm not gonna write down all the rules, okay? We're just gonna do the work. Eight X plus 12. We have to first find the GCF in order to factor it out. So I'm going to go over here and put 8 and 12. What are all the factors of 8? Ivan? 1. Yep. <laughs> 1 and 8. What else? What else multiplies to 8? 4. And? 2. There you go. So 1, 2, 4, and 8. I'm just going to put them in order is all. 1, 2, 4, and 8 are the factors of 8. 12, Landon, do you have that one? Um, 1, 2, 4, oh. no, 3, 3, 4. Yep. So I've got, um, I know if we do every one. 6, <laughs> yep. 12. 6 and 12. Okay, those are all the factors of 12. They have in common, they both have a 1, they both have a 2, they both have a 4, and nothing else. So the biggest of those factors is 12. <laughs> They don't have 12 four. in common, though. Four. four. So we got to look at the one that's in common. Four, four, Okay? So it's four that's the greatest common factor i got to try to factor out. So I need to rewrite each of these so I can see the four that's in it. How do I rewrite eight so that it's got a four? Eliana? Four times two x. Four times two x. Look who's back. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Four times two x. How do I write 12 so that I can see the four factor that's in it? Four times, Carolyn? Three. Four times three. Claire, we were doing yesterday. And what what am I factoring out again? What number? Hannah? Four. Four, because that was the greatest common factor. So I'm going to write a four out front. Now i got to figure out what would be left. So if I had take the first term and I were to take out the four, I'm left with a 2x, so that's the first thing in the parentheses. Because um, 4 times 2 is 8. I knew I needed a 4, so the 2 just kind of came with it to make it 8. 4 times 3 is where that 12 came from. But if I were to take the 4 out, all I have left is three, a 3. This is so confusing. So that's the factored part. Do you remember from yesterday? I only did this once. So we'll see if you can remember. What undoes factoring? There's something that, un like, I could take this and go back to this. What is that called? William? Multiplicate. It distributes its property. Distributive property, right. I can multiply this back into the parentheses, and I should get back up to the original expression. So if we try that, if I took 4 times 2x plus 3 and distributed, I would do 4 times 2x. What's 4 times 2x? 
8x plus, and then 4 times 3 12. is 12. Notice that and that matches. So if you factor and then distribute, you're going to get back to where you were. That's kind of a check that you can use to make sure you did that right. You guys finish up some of your writing. You're gonna do, I'm going to write one more, and you're going to try the next one here, okay? Oh. Everybody done writing? Yes. yes. Okay, number three. I want you to try 2x plus 10. I want you to try to factor that. <coughs> Look back if you have to. You can if you want to check it. Yeah, you can see if it's right by distributing it out. Oh, there's just an app installation that's kept coming up. Oh.